What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Listen, excuse the way how I kind of sound right now. I've been under the weather for the last three or four days, and it has been the worst. This is not the worst cold I've ever had, but this is just one of those things where I'm glad that it didn't last no longer than four days. But y'all, let's go ahead and get get into it. I'm just glad I'm able to record this and let y'all know what I think. Let's get into Basketball Wives Season 11, Episode 11. I looked at it this morning and some of this evening. Well, this morning. Let's go ahead and talk into Brittany. Talk about Brittany. Of course, like Brittany is just weird to me. It's like, and she's a pretty girl, but... The wigs, like, you, yet again, you're wearing an ugly-ass wig on camera. Like, it's getting tiring. She was talking to J uh, Giselle about the whole, you know, I don't think I can be around this group. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. And I'm kind of just like, girl, okay. Whatever. Like, just leave. Because you, you, you're being very weird right now. Like, I don't know if it's just in you that you're really like that or you're doing it for TV. But you're just very weird to me. Brooke, I did not know that she filed for divorce two years ago. I didn't think it was that long ago. I really thought it was recent. She got some, a gift or some flowers from her, her current husband. I guess he's trying to win her back. You know, my whole thing is this, like, be for real. Don't, don't try to win her back and then try to do the same thing that you did to her to hurt her. Like, it's so, like, at this point, it's so, it's so weird to me how people can just do you like that and just keep doing you like that. And it's like, no, me, like, me personally, I can't deal with nobody just stepping out on me like that. Like, you might as well go, go on by your business because, no. <laughs> Jennifer meets up with her dudes, well, her fiancés. Mom. Mom was very pretty. But mom, like the tone, like she gives off like she don't play, like just by looking at her. But she seemed like she could be a sweet person. Um, I don't know. It's just the type of dude that Jennifer is with, it just he just seems very different for Jennifer to me. Just to me. Like I don't know if he's a good fit for her. Maybe she is really enjoying him. I don't know. I just feel like Jennifer has a type, a guy. I don't know. He just looks like not her type, in my opinion, just based off of how I know what Jennifer likes and what Jennifer like, who she likes. Um, Jackie <laughs> and her daughter. Her daughter literally got engaged or whatever. So she wants... Jackie is so over the top. She wants to see the dude, but the daughter didn't tell her anything because of how Jackie will react. I guess she don't want Jackie all in her business. Evelyn has this event for her SLG uh, body suits. Her daughter was there. Jennifer was there. You can tell that Jennifer and Chantel had a, like a kumbaya moment where they talked a little bit. And is it just me or I just feel like Jennifer, I feel like she apologized but she never like really said, hey, I said those things. And maybe they said something off camera that I don't know about. And Jennifer's dude really got on Vanessa about talking mess. I can completely understand, dude. But, but my whole thing is people need to learn how to pull people to the side. Stop waiting until you get to events and want to address something. Like, of course you did it for TV. But yeah, uh, next week is the season finale, so it's only 12 episodes. Very shocked by that, because usually you have a good 14, 15 episodes. But I can tell they haven't been ranking in that many episodes. But season 10 had a lot of episodes, even though they cut it in half. But yeah, guys, um, I will be reviewing the finale next week, if they have it next week. And uh, we'll go from there. So peace, love. 
And well, let's go ahead and get into the next one.